There you go. We can have another piano piece. All around me, a familiar face. Nobody did you know that the Empire State Building in New York was once meant to be an airport? Yes, everybody. Not really for airplanes, but for airships, right? You know, the tip of the Empire State Building has facilities for unloading passengers, kind of like a jetway. Quite a genius idea. It just was never put into practice because airships in general, you know, didn't become very successful at all. We don't see them really anymore because of, you know, several accidents that happened. Is it a good idea to have like a huge balloon of hydrogen that could explode any minute in the air? It turned out it wasn't. Everybody, yes! Today we're gonna travel back in time, a time before we had airplanes. The time that humans thought lighter than air kind of airships were the future. This is the LZ-129 Hindenburg from Germany land. And we can truly travel back in time today because this add-on here for the Microsoft Flight Simulator that was just released is super realistic. Obviously, you know that from the developers of Red Wing Simulations, who also came out with the L1049. We talked a lot about this plane on the channel, the Super Connie, because it had really, you know, innovative, realistic effects like engine fires, crashes. That was a really cool add-on. And so we very much expected the LZ129 Hindenburg that was just released to be very realistic too. You can buy it now on Marketplace for 30 euros. I've already had a bit of a look at the manual, which is a 138-page manual indeed, and it goes so far into the details of the history of the airship, of, of the Zeppelin, in itself, how it came to be, you know, very historically accurate, and I really, really like this. I mean, they explained how the physics work, how they made the flight model possible, and everybody, today we're gonna take a look at the product. Everybody here, we can already see quite a few men here on the ground who are holding this plane in place. Let's take a look at the cockpit indeed. We obviously are in the seat of the captain. Hello, captain, then. Here we have a little tablet, which is kind of our flight instrument. We can see how high we are, how fast we're going, blah, blah, blah. Here we have our, uh, I guess, first officer. You know, they had a lot of personnel on these airships because they needed it to fly properly across the Atlantic at 130 kilometers an hour. Hello there. Um, I guess he's the rudder master. I think you could call it that. Blah, blah, blah. Here we have the gas cells. Here is someone else. I guess he is the navigator. It's quite impressive what this airplane can do. Let's put out a map of, of uh, Germany land. There we go. Just like that. We can draw on it. Just Never mind, we can't draw on it. I, I guess that would be a bit too realistic for that. This is insane. Everything seems to work, and it's quite down into detail. Yes, everybody, we, we can even step upstairs. But we have the radio rooms, also the passenger rooms. Yes, everybody, indeed, we can harass some people today. Let's go ahead now and get this airplane flying here at a Nice airport. For that, we need to step into the um, role of the commander who would tell these airplanes to release our beast. There we go, we can do that right here. Cast of the rear moorings. Yes, this is German accent. We have to speak into this megaphone. Cast of Roger. the front moorings. Roger. Yes, there we go. These guys are now, you know, releasing our plane indeed. And we are already lifting off. It's kind of amazing. Now, there's three different modes that we can select. Easy, normal, and realistic. I really don't want to dip, you know, bounce into realistic flying because this is just so crazy. I guess we can order something. For example, we can order the airplanes to turn on. So for example, all systems Getting on. Get started, please. Yeah, get it all started now. So that these engines here, these Daimler propeller engines turn on so that we can actually, you know, go somewhere quickly. There we go. We are slowly starting to lift off. Obviously, you know, how does lighter than air travel work? Here we are now inside the ship and we have quite a lot of ballast here, water ballast that are right now still holding the airplane down. To go up, I guess, we, we shall release some of that ballast here. We can do that right here. Water ballast seven. Just uh, release some of that. We can already see our airplane now it's starting to slowly move up and we can see Yes, some ballast being removed like that. There you go. You can see that's quite a lot of ballast here going off. I guess that's how it works. And so all the gases that we have here inside of the airplane, all the hydrogen that are lighter than air, creates buoyancy, moves the airplane up. And it's quite amazing. Yeah, this is quite slow. The engines are still not started. Um, that's cool. That can't, can't be good. Come on, start the engines idiot. Perhaps we could call someone. This is kind of cool. Uh, Ray Engineer Room. Hello. Turn on the engine, you idiot! Perhaps we can open the telephone book. All crew for takeoff. No one's answering. I'm getting ghosted by our engineer room. Shut up. 
I guess we can just take off the... There you go. It's the takeoff ring. It's kind of amazing how communication through all these different stations with all these different people works here. Yes! Like that. Beautiful. Engines are starting up with like 5 FPS on the animations. I really like that. Now let's go. Uh, let, let's go up. Let's go up. Come on. We need, a, we need to remove, I guess, more ballast. I guess that's how it works. Get rid of all the water we have in the tanks so that we actually very much reduce weight. And so the sheer amount of hydrogen we have on board will lift us off the ground. Beautiful. That's quite a scent rate. Here we go. Above the skies of Nice. Modern Nice. I mean, all these airplanes must be confused now. I mean, this is a huge scent. Ship. And we're able to see this. This is probably like a cruise ship in the sky. There's so much space here. Beautiful. Now, so while we're flying, we can actually explore our ship well. All right, let's get past our captain's rooms. Bye, bye, bye. And we can move up the stairs here. Oh, like that. And here we are at the radio station. Yes, it would be quite fun to do a VAT, some flight in this, right? I mean, we can do Morse code. <laughs> We can also block the frequency. I think that will be quite fun. This is cool. I mean, imagine Morse coding in that sim. I think that will be quite interesting. Good. All right. And here we are upstairs indeed. Here's the crew. Here we, for example, also have the postman here who's stamping postcards. That's how it worked in the, in the good old airplane like this. And let's go ahead and move past the ropes that we've just actually moved up into the airplane. And here we are, you know, sort of the actual public area. Let's open the door. Here we have, I guess, a break room for the crew with a telephone. No one there. Okay. Hello there. I don't know who that is. Let's open this door right here. What is that? That's also, I think, a break room. This is actually the kitchen, huh? It is the kitchen. Now, the developers are planning on even further detailing this thing. Uh, in pre you know, they, they're going to release a premium version of this thing, which is probably going to include a cook. We can do cooking classes in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It will be quite fun. What is that in here? That's like another, that's like a bar break room here also for the crew. Let's get here. What is that here? That is, I guess, I've, I have no idea. There's a lot of rooms here to explore. And this is what I meant by cruise ship in the sky. There's just so much space here. Oh, hello. This is the bar personnel. He's some, he's cooking up some drinks, you know. Alcohol consumption, uh, we can't really be sure about in these real airships. I mean, look at this luxury. It's kind of cool. We can see down onto France. You know what would occasionally happen on transatlantic flights from Europe to the US that Alco would actually run out on board. All right, let's go and move. What the? Good. This is. <laughs> There's so much. All right, Herren and Damen. So this is actually the toilets. Everybody, look at that. Imagine having this kind of a spacious toilets inside of an airship like this is close to emirates first class level i like that let's go ahead now and actually move upstairs where we will actually find the passenger compartment everybody yes the rooms we've got a statue of hinden i think that's hindenburg let's take a look we have some rooms for animated not the most luxurious some bunk beds but hey this this could be a whole lot worse of comfort right let's go ahead and open this door this is actually the main bar i reckon yes everybody in the dining room we can take a look out of the window we have a we have a mysterious woman there and some people talking here. Some noise as well. Hello, hello, distinguished gentlemen. Good. Hope you are having a good time on our ship. We won't crash near in New York at all. This is, I guess, what is that? This is like extra kitchen. We can close that door, right? Now, from the dining room, we can move up to another room. Where, what is that room? All right, another room to socialize. We have, uh, we have another distinguished gentle. Why are you looking at me like this? I'm up to nothing bad. Here we are just above front. Everything's fine. He is really reading a news here while having a straw why, why am i just why am i doing this no idea but I'm, I'm a big fan right here for example we have a beautiful bluesner grand piano right here which can actually play it's quite beautiful you know this is what i imagine what a zeppelin would have been like relaxing you actually would have a piano player i guess in the next premium version well this is very relaxing indeed beautiful what a nice relaxing room this is indeed it's quite nice how even the captain can hear a bit of that piano. And I think, I mean, I'm very amazed. Obviously, we can steer the ship with our controller as well, making it go left or right. And you see the rudder here, which is now steering this airplane to the left. Let's try not to crash into a mountain. Very beautiful. And I like how every little animation here is shown. Here we can see the steering of the ship as well going. And we can go anywhere. 
right? This is our little tablet. We can see all the views. We can, you know, visit the person who's in the second engine right here. Hello, that's some cool kind of sunglasses. I mean, this really shows how complicated this must have been, flying this type of plane. Yes, you can actually start your engines up yourself, I guess, all the engines. Oh, over 50 crew members, you know, were on board this airship. Let's go to the second engine right here. Hello there. How are you doing? I hope you're very well. It's not too cold here. Imagine being on board this ship as an... I like how every single incher is actually shown. I'm not a... You know, a Zeppelin expert. I have no idea how realistic it is, but it genuinely, genuinely must be. I wonder, I don't know, how much time was spent making this work of art. I guess what's coming next is failures. They already have a failure menu that I guess working on, so or like maybe have the airship blow up in the air or something like that. That would be really cool. All right. Meanwhile, we are traveling. I think that's really cool, so we can kind of. You know, make this thing go faster by going like there's like a fast mode. So we're now going at 130 knots, and it's like as fast as a Cessna could be. Beautiful. And one problem about these Zeppelins is obviously that they couldn't go very high. But obviously not more than 10,000 feet. Obviously these weren't pressurized. I don't know how hydrogen behaves this high up in the sky. Which is a big problem, especially when it comes to weather. I guess we could try to induce some high weather. I mean, this thing is made out of cotton and like linen. Because it's not very strong at all. Come on, let me go ahead and have some storm. Oh, that must not be very comfortable. Warning, we are tilting dangerously upwards. Shut up, we're not. We're absolutely fine. Let's not crash into a... Not crash. Let's not have a Hindenburg disaster number two. Let's get rid of some more ballast here. We have to climb. We have to climb. Why? What is going on? Why are we... Oh, we are losing altitude. Uh, emergency ballast. We can't really see much. In fact, it's kind of... It, it seems as though it's kind of raining inside of the cabin, too. Yeah, this thing isn't the best when it comes to um, weather stability. All right, let's get rid of the bad weather and actually land this thing. That could be quite interesting. All right, here in fast mode, let's steer this bad boy. I guess with this grass area, we can see that helm moving. And you can see, yes, that even our ship is moving just like it should. I guess it will be a pain in the ass to fly across the Atlantic, but you could definitely do that if you got like a week or two. Mm. I wish we had some more piano music. Right. Let's go ahead and get we that going. tilting dangerously downward. Shh. You're good. There you go. We can have another piano piece. All around me are familiar faces. Alright. Here we have an old abandoned airport. And we shall land on this one. Faces. Let's get rid of some altitude. Because we need to land here. We can do that by releasing some hydrogen. Like that beautiful gas cell one two three like that that releases out hydrogen and that makes your airplane float a bit less like that there you go we're drastically oh we are kind of oh we're kind of falling down into this uh oh all right that's fine let's go ahead and reduce some speed here the good thing is that this plane is able to reverse thrust quite a bit all right reverse thrust is on and so we are stopping as well barely all right hindenburg is landing hindenburg is landing all crew to station deedly do there we go land Prepare for landing. Yes, just like that. And we are now landing, aren't we? Why isn't this thing stopping? Stop! I put on reverse shot. All right, we've overshot it. Let's go ahead. There you go. Now we are reversing, just like we should. Perfect. Shh. You're good. You're gonna be fine. All right. Perfect. Let's go ahead now and uh, get rid of some more gas, like that. Beautiful. More gas, like that. Yeah. Look at that. Come on. No, we are not overshooting back again. Oh, don't crash. Uh, Alright, we're gonna crash. We're, we're landing. Uh, no, I don't want to crash into someone's house, actually. That would be quite uncomfortable. Alright, we've crashed. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Imagine the Hindenburg lands on you. Wouldn't be quite comfortable. Good after a successful <laughs> shoot. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I, no, please halt. Stop. Stop the engine. We need someone to. Oh, it's quite a roller coaster. I'm very sorry. Let's go ahead and. Uh, yeah, drop some Miria moving. Roger. All the movings have to be dropped. Yeah, you're going to be just fine. Just stop spinning and then we can. Uh, yeah, there you go. We can tie you down. Yes. So we can now have people on the ground who will hold. What is going on? Why can't you just tie the plane? All right, that seems like it. I guess you can now deboard. Everything's fine. All right, yeah, that has been a very successful landing right there. I like that, yeah. But by the way, we have some more, uh, you know, Zeppelins to choose from. This is 130, 131 in different colors and all that stuff. It's kind of cool. You know, the detail of this thing is definitely ridiculous. That's good. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always.
Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names. 